Mom, I just went and handed in yours and dad's divorce papers for you guys. <laughs> what? That means you are no longer my mom anymore. <laughs> and people that aren't a part of the family anymore need to leave this house. <laughs> At least that's what dad has always told me. <laughs> oh, uh, huh? What are you going on about, Madison? You really think I'm going to fall for a joke like that one? You couldn't have actually handed in our divorce papers without one of us being there. The people never would have taken them from you. I'm not joking, Mom. This is very real. I really did just go into the courthouse and hand your divorce papers to the person at the desk. She was a bit surprised to see me handing in papers like that, but she took them from me anyway. <laughs> so there. What? Mom, you have been really annoying lately. And I mean really, really annoying. Always making little comments about me like I'm causing you problems or something. And even this morning you were getting all upset over nothing, right? Your room is still dirty. Why haven't you cleaned out your lunchbox? Why are all your dirty clothes still in the bathroom? Yeah. I had to listen to little annoying things like that all the time from you. So, after thinking about how to get rid of you, I came up with a really good plan. And that plan was, by having you get divorced from Dad, you can no longer live in this house with us. <laughs> huh? I'm a really smart middle schooler, aren't I? <laughs> I was able to copy both of your signatures onto those papers. Luckily, I had a lot of practice with that from signing you guys' signatures on all kinds of papers at school. <laughs> Oh, and along with your fake signatures, I was able to find all the information I needed about you guys from all those files you left in the desk drawer. <laughs> and with the kind lady at the courthouse taking those papers for me and not questioning a thing, my plan is now complete. <laughs> You're lying, right? Hold on now, Madison. So you actually walked to the courthouse today and handed in your dad's and my divorce papers? Your very own parents' divorce papers? <laughs> I bet you are freaking out right now. <laughs> but I'd be freaking out too if I were you. Ha ha ha. Because in your situation without dad around, you are nothing more than a jobless loser. <laughs> and now that I've handed in you guys' papers, you are pretty much done for, Mom. The reason I was always making all those comments was to make sure you'd be ready for your future and can take care of yourself, all right? You are a middle schooler now, yet there are a lot of things you still don't take care of that you should be able to manage. And any time I would try and punish you, you'd just start to throw a temper tantrum like you're still five. If you don't learn how to start being responsible for the things you do and say, you're going to have a tough time as an adult. No university is going to want to deal with you. No job is going to want to deal with you, and no man will ever want to be around you. So even if some of my comments are harsh, that's because I love you, and I want to see you succeed in the future. What are you talking about, you old doofus? <laughs> and what's wrong with me not being able to do everything myself? <laughs> the whole reason you're always home and don't work is to clean up after me and cook everything I want, right? I'm the reason you've been a part of this family in the first place. But since you want to complain all the time about that, you can say goodbye to this family now. <laughs> Dad and I don't need you around because we both know we were only leaving the chores and cooking alone so that you'd actually have something to do. <gasps> Excuse me. I bet you always complain because you want to have an easy life, right? You probably married a man like that, thinking he'd be able to make the money and pay the bills, all while you sat back and used his money. However, that's not the life you get to live now. Your job isn't to sit around all day and complain, and what you've been doing to me sure isn't because you love me. You're supposed to be the housewife, yet all you do is slack off. Ha! How come you've started to think like that? <laughs> this is the punishment you get for slacking off and not doing your job as a housewife. Ha! I bet you never thought the day would come when your own daughter would hand in your divorce papers and get you kicked out of the house. <laughs> now you're not only going to be jobless, 
But you'll have no house either. Hee <laughs> Well, that's what'll happen to your father, actually. What? Before, I was always home doing things a housewife would do, like the chores and cooking three meals a day for everyone. But now I've been working from home. You've been living with me this whole time and never noticed me in my office doing work on the computer? Since when have you been working an actual job? You had always done the chores here. What else are you trying to say you've been doing? Oh, right! Sometimes I'll see you on your computer, but I'm sure you're just slacking off watching YouTube or something, right? <laughs> I'm working, Madison. I'm working. I use my computer here to get my job done, and I do remember from time to time me telling you that I'm starting work in the morning. What? That's... That, that, that's, that's you actually working, then? Recently, your dad's company that he works for hasn't been doing too well. So in order to bring in a bit more money for us due to inflation and all of that, I started to work myself. Thanks to that, we have been saving up some more money. But at the beginning of this year, your dad's company ended up going bankrupt. Huh? It, it went bankrupt? I didn't want to worry anyone, so I made sure to keep all of that a secret. But there you go. So as of right now, this house is being held together with mom's paychecks. And since I thankfully have a remote job, I can work as much as I need to to make as much money as we need. What did you say? Yet out of nowhere, you went and got your mom and dad divorced. Right as you thought you'd be getting me kicked out of the house, you just got your dad and yourself kicked out. If you really hate me that much that you'd do something as stupid as that, then you and your dad can leave this house right now. I will not have a brainless child and her unemployed dad sitting around in my house all the time. I just heard what's happened from Madison. I can understand her being a little crazy at times due to being in middle school still, but handing in our divorce papers. Who did she end up getting that kind of reckless behavior from? She really is a pain in our necks now. I tried to get her to settle down a bit by telling her about you and your current situation. And then I told her if she really doesn't want to be around me, then she can leave this house with you instead. What? You told her that? Of course I don't actually plan to kick you out of the house. <laughs> I was just trying to scare her into shutting up was all. I hope that helped her out a little in understanding just how much of an idiot she was by handing in her own parents' divorce papers. I'll go to the courthouse later and ask that they stop processing those papers for us. Well, while I'm out doing that, would you please stick around her and make sure she doesn't do anything else? No, 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 hold on a second. You don't have to bother with stopping the courthouse now. It seems like the best chance for me, so... I'll take her with me and leave the house. What are you talking about, Clay? I was just saying that she'd have to leave with you in order to get her to shut up. I would never actually kick you out of the house, you know that, right? Wait, it's not about that, actually. It's just that this is perfect timing for me, and to be honest, for a while now I've been thinking of divorcing you. Huh? I'm sure that this whole thing with us getting divorced is a shocker to you, but I think it's for the best that we let it happen. This timing's really helped me out. So I'll take Madison with me, and both of us will be out of your hair for good. Wait a second. What do you mean you've been thinking of divorcing me? Come on. Look. Okay, to be real, for a while now, I've been looking for another woman. <laughs> and after finding myself the perfect girl for me, she told me that I should get rid of you so that we could be together. <laughs> so I've been waiting for a time like this to divorce you, run off with her. <laughs> another woman? Clay? Have you been cheating on me? Like, I've been having trouble finding myself a job, and that started to get me angry. During one of those days where I was upset, I went out with a friend to grab some drinks. And well, okay, I ran into this wonderful girl, and from that night on, we've been seeing one another. The reason I'm a much happier man now is because of her supporting me. What are, you, what are you saying, Clay? I've been trying to support you this whole time as well, both mentally and physically. Yet you've gone and stabbed me in the back now, and have another woman... Is that why you stopped looking for a job and never did any of the chores at home for me? I can't believe you'd do something like that to me. 
listen to me, Mom. <laughs> Look, I get that you were trying your best to support me like that, but this other woman is the reason I found myself a new job. And comparing this new job to the one I had before, I'll be making double the income. For some reason, I'm thinking this woman is a goddess of good fortune to me. You'll be making double? What kind of company did you find that will be paying you that much? Especially after a year of not doing anything after losing your last job. Actually, the woman I've been going out with happens to be the daughter of the CEO of a very large company. She told me that she'll talk with her parents and have them hire me on the spot and give me a job there. <laughs> and of course, since I'm dating their daughter, I'll be making more than most of the other employees there. Then I never knew that dating the perfect woman could lead to such a wonderful life as this. You're kidding me. You're telling me that the woman you've been cheating on me with is the daughter of a CEO. I'll be making double what I made before, and this woman is wanting to marry me ASAP. I'm sure that even Madison will be happy to join a family like this. So now that you're aware of all that, you don't have to bother stopping the divorce. I'll let you keep the house, so you go on ahead and get used to your new life of being a lonely, divorced loser. <laughs> Isn't my dad freaking amazing? <laughs> Not only was he able to find himself a young and cute looking girlfriend while married to you, but that woman also happens to be the daughter of a freaking CEO. <laughs> that pretty much means that I'll be set for the rest of my life now. Of course, I'll be going with dad now and will become the daughter of a celebrity. Like her. Would you cut that out and come back here right now? I will not allow you to go with your dad. Huh? <laughs> I don't need your permission to go with him. <laughs> Would you please get your head out of the clouds and think all of this through? I don't care that she's the daughter of a CEO. She just took a married man away from his wife. And not only that, but your dad just stabbed your hard-working mother in the back. If you really want to go and live with a man and woman like those two, then you'll only be making your future even more hard on yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like to think that by staying with the divorced old hag, I'd be making my future even more difficult for myself. <laughs> Excuse me? If I were to stay with you, Mom, then I'd be offering myself to live a life of a moneyless little daughter to some jobless and single idiot mother. <laughs> I get that up until now you've been working and making the money to support the family, but who knows how much longer that luck will last for you. <laughs> There's a chance that you get fired just like that and can no longer make any money. Or, better yet, the company you work for might go bankrupt, just like Dad's did. <laughs> there is always a chance of those kinds of things happening. So instead of being with some woman who is at risk of all that, I would much rather be with my new mom who happens to be famous and have money and a company she will later get. <laughs> Starting today, you will no longer be my mom, as that title is being taken by Dad's girlfriend. Madison? We don't have any use for you anymore, you lost cause of a woman. <laughs> I want to start a new life being the daughter of a soon-to-be CEO. A woman like you that got tossed out by someone like Dad can go live a life of nothing but failure and loneliness. <laughs> well, if that's what you think, then when you're crying to me in the future, I'm not going to listen to a word you say. Even if your new mother tries to come and talk to me, I won't even bother talking to her. Huh? <laughs> I'd never, ever come crying back to you. <laughs> we'll just have to see about that then. I'm sure those talks about Dad getting remarried to that new woman will fall through really soon. Then you'll both end up with no house, and your dad with no job, and we'll have to start eating scraps out of the garbage. What? Now, Madison, you enjoy this new life you've created for yourself. It would be wonderful if this new family with your dad and that young woman were to work out in your favor. Mm, what should I do, Mom? D dad, um, his marriage to that younger woman went down the drain. And as for that new job he was supposed to be getting, it's, it's, it's not happening anymore. Everything has turned out just the way you said it would yesterday. How did you know all of this would be happening to him? Oh my. 
Oh, oh my. Who would have thought that something like that would happen so fast? I was giving you guys at least a week before things began to fall apart. Mom, listen, about that woman's dad. He's the CEO of a company, right? Apparently, he doesn't want his daughter to marry dad. He started to yell at dad about being a total waste of a man for cheating on his wife and then bringing me along to marry his daughter. Then he only became even more mad after hearing about how his daughter wanted him to hire a man like dad to come work in the company. I knew that woman had no idea what she was doing by trying to get her dad to hire a man like your dad. The CEO of that company is a very important figure and is known throughout the U.S. as being one of the most hard-headed CEOs. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Rather, he is just very strict and a little old-fashioned. I'm sure he would never take on a man like your dad to go and work for him. What? What do you mean by all of that? Do you happen to know this CEO? Is he your friend or something? No. Not on a personal level or anything, but he does happen to be a customer of mine. Well, a customer of the company I work for, so indirectly a customer of mine right now. We have been working with this company for a long time now and happen to know a lot about the man. What? I, did, I didn't know that! When I found that out for myself, I was surprised. I had to look into the woman your dad cheated on me with in order to get a settlement from her. And that's when I saw that she is the daughter of a man I work with. And what really got me is the fact that she's the daughter of such a serious CEO who you would never think has a daughter that would cause such a mess. I really wonder now what led a man like him to raise a daughter like that. So, so you really do know about the CEO and his company then? And that's how you figured a man like him would never hire dad. And that's how you figured out he would never be allowed to marry his girlfriend. That's why I was trying to stop you from going with him. But you didn't want anything to do with me, and had wanted to be with your dad and that woman. It would have been really nice for you had dad figured something out and gotten married to that woman. Uh. Mm. Hi, Kelly. Look, I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but could you please take Madison back? What? Right now, my girlfriend is saying she doesn't want me keeping Madison with us. She told me that if I try to hold on to her, then the marriage will never happen. She'll have to break up with me, so please, Kelly, can you please take Madison off my hands? I'm not sure I'll be able to do that for you. The whole reason this divorce happened in the first place is because Madison doesn't want to live with me, right? So you're the only person that can take her now. But if I have to keep her, then I'll be in trouble. I told my girlfriend that I had a daughter and all that, but she was thinking Madison was still a toddler or something. And now she's telling me she doesn't want a daughter that's already in middle school. Wow, I wonder why she's being so selfish. Do you really like to be with women like that or something? Of course I do. Look, she may be selfish, but she's the daughter of a CEO. Even if I can't work for that company, as long as I get married to her, my life will be set. I'll be able to say to everyone that I'm part of a CEO's family, and will have all the money I need. So because of that, you don't mind losing your daughter. It's funny how you're a father, yet one of the worst humans on this planet. If you're gonna say something like that, then take a look at yourself. You're supposed to be a mother. Yet you let the one child you gave birth to get away from you, like you didn't love her in the first place. Normally, a mother would never want her child to leave her. So please, would you just take her off my hands for me? I'm not taking her back, as I don't care to see her face anymore. I do not care about that brat anymore. No way. Now, good luck getting that girlfriend of yours to accept Madison. I'm sure if you can prove that Madison is a good girl, she'll be happy to have her as her own daughter. Hey, listen to me, Mom. I can't believe what Dad is doing and saying right now. He's told me that he doesn't want me to be a part of his family anymore. And now he's telling me to go back to you so that he can get married. 
Right now, Dad is really trying to get rid of me for good, Mom! That man is a real jerk, isn't he? So now he only wants it to be himself that gets to be in that woman's family. And in order to get that, he's willing to throw away his only daughter. I was able to get Dad that divorce due to all the work I went through filling out and handing in you guys' divorce papers. And, and, and I thought that by going with Dad, we could both be happy together. Dad even told me that due to all the work I put in to get him farther from you and closer to his girlfriend, I, I'd be able to go to any school I wanted and even travel the world. I can't believe a cheating man such as your dad would be willing to cheer you on after divorcing your own parents. Right? He's terrible, Mom. So please, Mom, can you come and get me away from him? We can work together to make Dad look bad and ruin his life. What? You want me to do something like that with you? I have to come back to you anyway, right? And and, and by having me back, you'll be able to get child support from him then, right? So, so please, please use me as a way of getting as much money as you'd like from him. That, that way, he'll be forced to paying you every month, and that will destroy the plans he's had. Let's take so much from Dad that both him and his girlfriend will be hurt. I see. I'm sure that if I did get a lot of money from them every month, those two would be pretty upset. From what I found out, right now that CEO's daughter is having to live off her daddy's money. The fact that they are both jobless right now could really hurt them in the long run. Right? Right? And, and also, I, I was able to get something very good. Some evidence of those two being together while you were still married to Dad. I was able to get this from Dad's phone. <laughs> Are you serious? I actually went through and copied all their messages they've sent back and forth to one another. And I have a couple pictures of those two that they took together while cheating on you. With evidence like this, you'll be able to get a massive settlement from those two, right? Having as much evidence as possible is great for getting money, right? You make a good point there, but I already know about everything that they've been doing. Oh, come on now, Mom. <laughs> you can thank me later for this extra stuff, though, right? I'll send it all over to you right now over text. Are you really okay sending me all that evidence you gathered? <laughs> I'm going to make both of those idiots regret ever throwing me away like that. Through both settlements and child support, we'll make sure those two have all their money taken away. So, Mom, let's you and I work together to destroy them. I'm sorry, Madison. I'll work alone on this one, and you can work by yourself to take them down as well. What? I'm not going to take you back. So if you want to get child support or something, then you'll have to work towards getting that money yourself. Why? Why won't you take me back, Mom? I've told you that Dad is throwing me away now. You're the only other person that can take me now, right? But from the start, you were the one that threw me away, right? You told me that you hated all those comments I made and said I was too annoying for you to live with anymore. And that's why you went ahead and divorced your own parents, right? I would never want a daughter like that back. Oh, no way, Mom. Then where am I supposed to go to now? Dad is telling me to go back to you, but you're telling me you won't take me back. I don't care about that. Go find a foster home to live in. Or maybe try going back to Dad and seeing if you can do something in exchange for him keeping you. What? At least I have to say thank you for this evidence you sent me. With all of this on top of what I had, I'll have no problems taking those two to court. Huh? Hold it right there, Mom! I sent you all of that thinking you'd take me back with you. If you're not going to take me, then, then, then give me all that back. You're the one that sent it all to me before figuring out what would happen. Sorry that you just assumed I'd want to take you back or something. <laughs> what? Come on now, Madison. You really think after being such a total bully to me and handing in those divorce papers for your dad and I without saying anything that I'd want you back in my life? I can't believe you'd actually think something like that. I get that you're only in middle school, but you should have learned by now simple thought processes like that. 
I'm sorry to say, but if you weren't able to figure out that I don't want you back before I had to tell you, you're going to have a very bad time in this world. Why are you picking on me so much right now, Mom? I'm asking you to please take me back. You're my mom, right? I, I will apologize for everything I've done to you in my life, so please don't throw me away, too. I can say this as many times as you need me to. You were the one that threw me away first. You have no right to be complaining about the choices you made now. And I told you before that in the future, that being today, when you come crying back to me, I would not listen, right? I know you said that, but... So with that, Madison, you are in middle school now. And you need to learn to take some responsibility for your words and actions. <laughs> so right after that, I went ahead and took the evidence that Madison had sent me, and was able to take both Clay and his girlfriend to court looking for a settlement from those two. But not knowing that it was his own daughter that sent me all of those screenshots and pictures, Clay went and blamed it on his girlfriend. He assumed it was her that sent me these, in order to get him, along with Madison, away from her. From then on, those two ended up fighting for weeks over whose fault all of that was, without ever finding out that Madison had done it. She was the true backstabber in all of this, and with that evidence I was able to get a massive amount of money from Clay and his girlfriend through a settlement. However, after a few weeks of fighting had gone by, they ended in Clay breaking up with his girlfriend and then taking Madison with him to go live together in a very small and cramped apartment. But from whatever else I've heard, Madison has not forgotten about how her dad tried to throw her away in order to marry that woman. So even now, that father and daughter relationship they have is ice cold. Well, I like to think of that as them getting what they both asked for. And now you might be asking, whatever happened to me? Well, fortunately enough, I was able to keep the house after the divorce, but the place was too large for me. So weeks later, after getting the money from that settlement, I went ahead and sold that old house and moved myself closer to where the company I work for is actually located. Originally, I was working remotely, and although that had its benefits, being able to go into the office allowed me the chance to move up in the company, as well as see those I work with in person. From the sounds of it, within a few more months, I'll be due for my first promotion within the company. And the promotion will put me as the lead manager for the team that works with that woman's CEO dad. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video.